Scientists announced plans for a futuristic space nation. Space, the final frontier. On October 12th, the citizens of planet Earth got one step closer to ditching it for a better way of life. That's if you believe Dr. Igor Asher Bailey, chairman of UNESCO's Science of Space Committee and founder of the Aerospace International Research Center. This past week, he announced his grand plan to create humanity's very first space nation, Asgardia. Asgardia is named after Asgard, home of the gods in ancient Norse mythology. Asgardia has several philosophical aims, one being to cultivate peace in space, creating a home for mankind free of Earth's conflicts. Another stated purpose of Asgardia is to shield the Earth from space threats, such as asteroids, sun flares, and man-made debris. Asgardia will also supposedly be a safe space for scientists to conduct private and unrestricted research, free from the constraints of any of Earth's laws. Dr. Asher Bailey and his team would like to offer everyone access to space, regardless of where they come from. All you have to do is fill out this application form on the Asgardia website, and immediately you will be a full-fledged Asgardian. Once at least 100,000 people register to become citizens of Asgardia, Dr. Asher Bailey says it will be eligible to become a member of the United Nations. Unfortunately, to become an independent country or state, a majority of UN members would have to recognize Asgardia as such. Good luck! And just so you know, becoming an Asgardian doesn't necessarily mean you'll actually get to set foot there. It'll be a long while before the average Joe gets to take a trip, if it ever happens at all. So far, the funding of Asgardia is through private personal financiers. Crowdsourcing campaigns will also be set up. Hmm, sounds promising. See a story that really should be animated? Suggest stories to Tomo News Now!